My photographs will never be icons, but they tell stories. And if you look carefully, you find out what it means to be and to live in a little town in the United States today. Perhaps you ask yourself why my pictures are long like this and never vertical. So this comes from a project I did in Algeria. I covered the civil war in Algeria for about 10 years. I tried to ask the people, can I take a picture of you? And nobody accepted. So I began to steal pictures. I tried to, to cheat and with a bad consciousness. You shouldn't do pictures of people they don't want to be in a picture. But that was the only way to document this civil war. So if I found this Weidlux camera, which is a panoramic camera, which is 140 degrees, and this state, I see cinema Scott now, and the our town is the same. It's only double pages in the book, and you go from one to another corner, and you always have several pictures in one picture. In 2006, I got a call from an organization which is called Swiss Roots, and they told me that there is a town in North Carolina called New Bern. I didn't know about it. And they said that this town, this was founded by an ancestor of mine, Christopher von Grafenried. And if I would like to go and photograph this town. So I started the daily life. My name was known. They knew that I'm the follower of the founder. And I did the first years. And then for the Swiss roots, I did an exhibition. I showed in the Bank of the Arts, which is a, an old bank, which is turned into a Kunsthaus in an art center. And I could show there my pictures. I hanged up 35 panoramic pictures. And uh, at the opening, the white crowd came and they said, no, we, we don't want the book. So the problem was that this was the first book about the town. They thought it's a publicity for the town and they wanted a book which is showing for tourism and these reasons. And so that's it. I went away and some years later I thought, but it's not finished. I didn't really get the whole picture. So I knew that there's this, the, the black, part of the city, I said I should go there. So it was a big chance for me to make a close look to this little town, 35,000 inhabitants, to see what's the life in the United States today. The work is not really about New Bern, it's a part of the United States L'Amérique Profonde, you say in, in, in French, it's the normal daily life in America. And so this is perhaps my raison d'être, what I'm doing. I'm looking at things everybody could see, but the human being don't want to see it. So if I put it in a photograph, perhaps they see it in another context, they can see it, they can realize it, and they can accept it, and if they accept it, they can work on it.